Hello, you're looking at a 2003 Fleetwood Prowler 29J, which is about a 33 foot, very light, um, one big slide out travel trailer. Now, please listen to the whole video as there are some things that need to be fixed, though this, this camper can be used just like it is. Slide out's nice and big, it works fine. It was a power slide, has an outside shower, a couple of small scratches right here, has the gas bottles, it has a battery but it will need a new battery, has a standard connection there. This is a repossessed camper from a RV lender. It's good looking inside. It looks to be hardly used at all. And probably while in storage, it developed a couple water leaks. Now, the last three days, we had a storm come through, and it's been raining like you wouldn't believe. And no water came in. That's not to say it didn't seep a little where it has its leaks. But what I would do is seal up the roof. And I took a picture of the roof. You can see it doesn't have any repairs on it. And uh, let it dry and either cover it up or, or um, pull it off and fix it. It's not that big a deal. And uh, if you can do this yourself or get it fixed cheaply, you'll get a nice trailer, a good looking trailer, at a very reasonable price. Now you can see that upholstery looks hardly ever sat in. Uh, we like to see that. We also like to see that it's hardly cooked in because that means there's no odors or anything like that. It has an RV refrig. Looks real nice and clean. Runs on either AC or propane gas. It's got ducted air conditioning and heat. Nice TV there. Oh, you may want to get a flat screen. It has a chair. It's got a little tear in it. Probably could be sewn. An entertainment center. Here's where one of the spots is. It's right there. And uh, probably coming from right above this. Coming down or coming down next to the window. Also on the top, I don't see any spots, but... I see some wrinkles in the uh, wrinkles in the wallpaper. And then back in the corner back here, there was a spot right there. And that normally comes from driving in the rain. Now behind this, it looks fine. In here it looks fine, so I imagine it needs to be sealed up right in the front part. The floor is solid though everywhere, no soft spots. Might as well show off the head area here. It looks nice and clean. Vanity. Stand up shower, which I'm 6'3 and I can stand up in there. It's clean. It's not beat up. So uh, this is what you look for when you want a good buy on one of these. You got a nice white ceiling, clean, no odors, couple water marks. Either tear them out or seal it up and let it dry and cover it over, one or the other. No moldy smell or anything like that. Like I said, the carpet's nice and clean and the upholstery looks hardly used. Now it's a repo, but you get a clean, uh, lean-free uh, title and we also offer you a 60-day temporary license tag to drive it home on and drive around once you get home um, by the way please do not bid unless you're able to finish the transaction you'll need two hundred and fifty dollars by the end of the auction and then the balance is due within seven days now, you don't have to pick it up for 30 days, but the balance is due within seven days. 
unloaded vehicle weight is 6,262 pounds. So, like a heavy duty RV or a 250 pickup truck hauls this no problem. Uh, what else am I thinking of here? When you come to pick it up, you get the title, you get um, temp tag and bill of sale, everything you need to title it in your state. We'll need a battery to drive home and to pull the slide in. It will come back when you hook it up to your truck, but they should have a fresh battery in it. No big deal. So look what other people are selling RVs like this for. Every bit of seven to ten thousand dollars. Clean like this. Even even with the watermarks. This one here is going to be sold at a very low reserve price. Very low reserve price. Way under the retail value. So fix it up a little bit. Make some money on it. Fix it up. Use it. Use it for a couple of years. Sell it. Upgrade to another. I've had several people watch what I sell. And they buy RVs from me. And use them for a couple of years. And then... Uh, and then sell them and buy another one. Got the, got the paperwork inside. I didn't look at that real close, but I bet you it has the price how much it was new. There you go. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say quickly, but um, that's the options on it. So anyway, buy this um, Fleetwood Prower. If it's what you're looking for, you like it. If you're a little bit handy and you can fix these couple things, you'll get a great buy on this.